Welcome back to Beth Aaron. Welcome back to Banished, where we are making a small little town grow into a large little town. Right now, last time we had set up the herbalist and we are starting to get things ready for trading. We set up the tailor, who is lacking leather, mm -hmm. and leather is coming from our hunting cabin. Currently, there's only one hunter. Last season, this season, was it this season or last season? Last season, he got 12 leather, 400 venison. And I just noticed that our food supply is pretty low, and so is our log supply. And we're going to have to first get some trees. But secondly, we're going to have to look into what's going on with our food. I imagine it's because we now have, what, 28 people and 5 students? 33 people or so? <clears throat> so we really need more laborers working in the field, picking up the food and delivering it to where it needs to go. But at the same time, five students is good because they will be working in no time. We have the school ready to go, or the church, the chapel. Well, not enough stone. And the chapel's not really all that important since their happiness is really high. We have that herbalist now because of the builder that we looked at that was not very healthy. The average is down to four hearts. I don't even know what that really means, but I do know that we have 12. 12 herbs last season, and let me guess, they're all used. So, I think I can only have one herbalist. Oh, I got two herbalists, okay. But, like last time and with every other situation, we do not have enough laborers for all that. And now I've got them getting wood, so it's going to be even less laborers getting the food. But I guess the fishermen will take some too, so that'll be good. to get busy. People walking around all over the place. I am just really glad we're not struggling with food. That is usually my biggest struggle, so this time around I did what I could to make sure that wasn't going to be an issue. I really want um, seeds so we can really get some uh, good food growing and of course those need a couple laborers to become farmers so it's actually more of a blessing that they haven't come yet well, we got two more students man now we're filling this up I'm going to hold off on building any more houses I think we encouraged enough people to move out and get married this guy or this girl Delosi, who's a builder, is still living at home at 26, and I know that's not ideal, but if she is the only one, that is not that bad a deal. And actually, Norbertrude, who I thought was going to be living with Jaquel, and Jaquel also, they could both use spouses. So, there's plenty of room for people to move around in. And having children somehow without spouses, so that was six, I think it's six. Aren't you glad that the kids don't age by years in this? I mean, the. <coughs> We're in the number. This says the number of years 
And then this is the age. So let's take a look here. Age 49. It does not say years because we would have to be playing for 49 years in order for that to obviously. So I'm not sure how the timing works, but I'm glad it's not actual years. Or even I mean game years, obviously, because we would be waiting forever for these children to become students and for the students to become adults. And we don't have forever. We've got food we need to gather, etc. Alright, let's think of something for the builders to do other than the houses. <clears throat> Could plant nothing. Ah, let's see here. No, why don't we? Well, we don't have a lot of stone. Should we run it? Well, okay. We don't really need to think about mining and also uh, rocks, a quarry. I don't know where. Oh, I guess we have lots of room back here. It's a long walk for them, but you know what? We'll put it way back here, and then we will give them a house. A housing development over here for anybody who works at the court. How does that sound great? I will do the road first because I am not good at guessing where stuff wants to go. Okay. A little Cory. So we can actually have a continual flow of stone, even though I probably will not put anybody in there until we have a couple more laborers. Wow. I need a lot more stone. And look who decided to show up. The middle of summer, early summer. Okay, this is what we are waiting for. And we will, like two, I hope, 1,200, um, oh, good. Okay, so what just happened? And by just, I mean a good solid 20 minutes ago, is I hit a button which stops recording while we were getting stuff from the trading post. I'll give you a hint, it was a number. <laughs> so now, you've missed the sheep, and you've missed the fact that I built all this stuff, but the good news is, you don't have to wait for it. And I guess what we'll do now is we we'll just play a little bit longer. Ah, oh, man, that stinks to be losing stuff like that. But we now have uh, four laborers. And I added people to the gatherer's hut. And I added people to the hunting cabin because we used the leather for clothes currently. And we need food. We're actually at 1,087, but during the middle of last year, we were down in the 500s. So now, that basically catches you up. We're waiting. We bought two sheep. The trader came. You saw that we were in the middle of purchasing sheep. And we did. So that's where we are now. I think we'll just make this one a shorter episode. We'll wait until we'll play uh, until summer or so. And hopefully while we're playing this pasture will get built and we can put the sheep in add some herdsmen and uh, then we'll be done oh, i hate when that happens i should have obviously been thinking and it was not firewood oh yeah so also 
you will notice the firewood is low and our wood is low. Our tools are low because I had put them back in here. Another thing that I did is put herbs uh, to be queued. We don't have anybody working, but when someone is working next time, they will add a hundred herbs because they are worth four. And I have never sold herbs before, so I thought that'd be pretty cool to try out. So we could just get this thing taken care of and get a herd, herdsman and uh, the sheep inside. We'll wrap it up this time and I apologize for another recording issue, but that's all the beginnings when you're in the beginning. Like they say, Disney World didn't open up without any hitches or whatever they say. Can we, uh, can we hurry this up? Another thing we did is we cleared this peninsula over here, or we're in the process of clearing. And there's lots of iron and lots of stone over there, so we are gathering that right up. Mm, it's a beautiful spring. 52 degrees is perfect. Well, go ahead and build this, people. The faster the better. Whoa, wow. That's not good. 232 food. And the, the sheep are going to provide no food because I decided to build a huge uh, farmed area, whatever this is called, pasture, so that <clears throat> we could make warm clothes as our clothes as our thing to do. So let's see. No, it is only going to take two. Okay, well we'll stop from there and I apologize again for the way that had to end.